Hi everyone, welcome to Liam's Lights. Today I'm going to show you something a little bit less conventional. First I'll show you this light that Liam picked up at the ReStore today. Um, it was $10. It's a canned recessed pot light that's designed for a shower. We didn't actually get the box, but there were some other ones that were there that had the box. Um, this piece actually, it's a little tricky to get on and off, so I'm just going to show you. It actually pops right on there. So this would go into your ceiling uh, with the wiring box inside. This would be at your ceiling level, and then you'd pop that in, and I guess it's rated for water. And it came with this bulb that's in it. I uh, don't know. Light line. I don't know if this is a special kind of water bulb or if it's just a regular bulb that came with it. So that goes in there. So one of the things that um, we're going to do here that we had an electrician show us how to do. So I don't recommend doing this if you don't know what you're doing because obviously it's electrical. So please do get a professional to coach you or do it for you. But these came with, um, when I opened up this box, so this was on the box, uh, I took that off. Um, we had a little conduit piece inside that you can pop these out so that you can run the wires. So we'll pop one of those out as well. Um, but these were connected onto here. And what I did is I just cut them off, as you can see, and then I stripped the wire on both of the black and the white. Okay. So then what we do is we go to the dollar store and we get a plug like this one. It's an extension cord, actually. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just repurpose this because it's only $2.50. It's pretty easy to repurpose it and use it to plug in this light. And that way you can actually check out the lights. Now another note. Sorry, yeah, another thing about these is that um, we don't leave them plugged in at all. We really just use them to try the lights out because, again, the wiring is, I don't think, something we want to mess with. Okay, so what we do here is we take this extension cord, we keep the plug side on this side. Uh, we just cut it right off. Okay, so we've got some copper wire in there. And that's a piece we can just discard. And then I'm just going to split these wires a little bit further up so that we can strip them. You might be able to cut it with that. And then I just, uh, I'm not sure what gauge this wire is, so I'm just going to try to, it's like less than an inch um, that I strip here. I think that's the right one there. 12 gauge. Let's have a look. Yep. Uh, so I'll do the other side as well. Okay. So now we have pangolium. Uh, we've got sort of these wires, right? And we've got these wires, which we're going to end up connecting. Um, I do want to pop out the one of these guys so that we can actually use this. Now I'm not sure how to do that. Ooh, I brought a screwdriver. Where did that go? Here it is. Let's see if I can just pry that out a little. There we go. And that's where I think we'll be putting this conduit. Not really, I haven't done one of these before, so I'm kind of figuring this part out as I go. Um, and let's see how long, yeah, so we want to make sure the wires kind of fit through there. I might, yeah, and I guess because this can be a bit sharp, that's why you want to make sure that this is in place. Um, again, just trying to figure out which side it goes into. Okay, that's probably pretty good. And... We're going to pop the wires through. And that way they're not going to get cut. So I got lots of length there. And that's great. So to attach these, I'm going to use this. These uh, we call them morettes. I know that they have another name that I've seen online, but that's what we call them. We want these to be about the same length. And that one's a little longer. So I think I'm just going to trim it. I noticed that, um, 
This guy looks like steel wire and this cord is copper, but I think that should be fine. I mean, I guess that they wired the light with that so they must know that it works. So I'll just get the rest of the wire out of the way here. All right. So it doesn't matter. There's no black and white on the plug, so that's great. And I'm just gonna kind of, you don't actually have to twist these together. So yeah, actually you don't have to twist those with these marettes. And you just line them up nice and straight so they all fit in that nice little tightly into that little hole. And you just kind of screw it on until it doesn't really want to go anymore. And then I give it a little tug to make sure that it's really in there. And you can see the wire goes like right, right into the metal so there's no exposed wires at all. I'm still going to tape this as well. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, I'm going to line those up so that they're nice and tight. I'm going to make that pop them into, I don't want any wires splitting off from the other ones, so I want them nicely in there all together. And that's not going any further, and I'm just going to peek in. I don't see any errant wires. I don't, I can pull it and it's not going to come off. So I've now got those connected. So I'm just going to tape it up. It's kind of like installing an overhead light, really, with the morettes and everything. Oh, there's the dog. All right. So I'm just going to really tape the heck out of this. And make sure that it's not going to come out. There's no chance that any wires are going to be exposed. Um, all the connections are in there. I'm going to do another piece. All right, so I'm just about done taping this up, and I'm actually rethinking that I might end up, um, I'll maybe do it off the video, but popping this out and putting these inside the box so that the cord is just coming out and these are even more sort of tucked away more safely in there. Okay, so I just kind of popped that back in. I'm going to feed those back, like I said, so that all the electricals inside the box... And I'll just play with this for a sec and get it where it needs to be. So hang on one sec. Okay, so before we close this up, uh, yeah, I got all the wires in the way that I wanted them. So they're all going to be inside the box when all's said and done. And I'll put this back on, but before I do that, I just want to see if it works. So Liam just put the bulb in. I'm going to uh, unplug one of these lights so your lighting will be poorer. But we've got a power bar here, and that way we can kind of control this with a switch. So let's pop that in there. Liam, can you turn it on? It works! So we know the wiring job works. So now Liam's gonna take it, put it back together, and uh, maybe put some bulbs in it, and maybe oh, put the top on it, show it to you. Yeah, you can unplug it. So here we have this light fixture with this put into place and I'll just switch it on and there it is on. I'm not sure what kind of bulb Liam has in there, if it's the original or a different one, but there's the light fixture. Thanks for watching.